Hello, this is Jonathan Cook with NCSI. In this video, we'll take a look at configuring Avanti automation agents based on team membership. Specifically, we'll walk through the steps of configuring a team of PowerShell 7 enabled agents. All right, let's get started with downloading the PowerShell 7 installer. We're going to use the MSI. All right. Close out of that. We'll launch the Avanti Automation console. Now we get to library and resources. I'll create a new folder here for PowerShell. And we'll click new to add our installer. So we can use select that with the file selector. Open and OK. This will take a, just a moment to run. OK, now with that installed, let's go to modules. I'm going to create a new folder here for agent config. And I'll add a module in that folder. This will be install PowerShell 7. Or you could even name this something along the lines of configure PowerShell 7 agent. Switch to tasks. We'll add a module here. We're going to go to provisioning and Windows installer package with install. Select for the file name, the resource that we just added. Okay, we don't need any more parameters for this. If you need admin credentials or need to run this as another user, you can add a security context and just enter those credentials. But we are good with that. Click OK again, and let's go and make one for removing an agent. So if an agent is removed from the PowerShell 7 team, And we'll add a task here. This will be very similar. Windows installer package with remove. Select our resource again. Click OK. And I like to have this use the same package. Click OK. And OK again. All right, now we can go over to topology and teams. We can add a new team here. This will be our PowerShell 7 team. Oh, we don't need team in the name. PowerShell 7. If we go to members, we can add a member. I'm going to go ahead and add my Windows 10 server. And for automatic job scheduling, this is where we'll use those modules we created. We'll configure for PowerShell 7 agent and remove agent PowerShell 7. Okay, and before we click OK, I'm just going to switch over to that Windows 10 computer, and we can see there's no PowerShell 7 here. Okay, we can switch back to our automation server. Click OK. When I click OK here, this creates the new team, as well as adds that Windows 10 machine as an agent to that team, and creates our job here that's already running to install PowerShell 7. We're going to go ahead and wait uh, for that to complete. All right, so that one's finished. Let's go to job history, 
There we go, we can see that it's ran. Let's real quick switch back over to that Windows 10 machine. You can see we've got PowerShell 7 here. And if we switch back over to our automation server, we can test the automatic removal of PowerShell 7 by going to our members and removing. Okay. If we look at jobs, we should have a scheduled job here. We now have an activity running. We'll go ahead and just wait for that to finish. All right, that one is done. If we go over here to job history, we can see that that's ran. And if we look at the Windows 10 machine, we no longer have PowerShell 7. This feature can be very helpful when configuring uh, Node.js or Python environments where you need to have specific versions installed or you have to have a, maybe a custom directory or you know, just for a case like this with PowerShell where you need a specific PowerShell version or perhaps .NET. Helps you meet a lot of dependencies for your automations. And you can just configure all of that through different tasks in a module. Or if you wanted to, you could even create different projects. And within those projects have multiple modules that need to run uh, just for team membership. Well, that was it for automating team-based configuration in Avanti Automation. Have a good one.